Hello everyone, this is Imran Emo and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video training, I'll talk about external CSS and how, how to link CSS to HTML file. Okay, here you can see this is a HTML file on the left and on the right is a CSS file. So the main purpose of this training will be how I can link this to file. Just uh, I'll link this CSS file. To this HTML file using this code below okay let's see here I have several HTML files well I'm going to make a copy of this file and rename it to external well here it is now what I'll do I'll just create a CSS file as you can see we need a CSS file just open up the notepad plus plus I have just opened up notepad plus plus and from the files I'm going to create a new file and save as external dot CSS just make sure that you put dot CSS because it will be a CSS file okay just hit save and it will now create a an external CSS file here you can see well I'm just going to open this both external HTML and CSS file here goes the HTML file and here goes the CSS file my job is to link this CSS file to this HTML file and style it just open up this HTML file on a browser here you can see the style but I'm just going to remove all of the style just remove all of this because it will be external save this file reload this page so there is no style but my job is to link this CSS file here. So we know we will have to use the HTML link tab to link this CSS file here. What I will do just write link then write rel. Rel will be the relationship of the file. It will be a style sheet and type of the file. type will be text slash css and href href will be the location of the file and well one thing you should be careful of this that i have the html and css file in the same folder or in the same directory so what i'll do i'll just write the name of the css file I don't have to do anything else what is the name of the file just get the file name please don't make any mistake of this file name and paste here and add dot CSS because it's a CSS file and you will have to write dot CSS after the name of the CSS file and right angle bracket now this css file is linked to this html file the job is done okay and one thing you should be care of that we have added it in the header section just within the head tag well now I'm just going to reload this page and we found no changes because this HTML file is blank. I didn't write any CSS rules here. Well, uh, I would like to test this that whether this file is linked properly or it's working. You can do uh, in many ways just view the page source and you can see there is no error it
okay you find no changes because our html file is totally blank okay firstly i will say just changing the background color of this html file well friends if you watched my previous video of internal css then you will find this types of css i'm just going to open up that file again this was the internal css video tutorial file of the previous video video number four and here i wrote css styles inside the head and i'll just do the same thing for the external css no changes but main thing is that i won't have to write this style tag okay uh, once again just be careful in case of external css we won't have to write this style tag no style tag what i'll do we will just take this css code directly and just we will paste here that's all just save the file external css now open the html file on the browser and reload this page and you see the change of the color probably you can't notice i'm just going to change this color to red that would be more clear now you see the background color is red so the magic is in case of external css this link is going to load the css from this separate file okay then we could learn that external css is a completely separate css file that is linked in the header section using the html link tag okay if you don't understand or just face any problem then you can let me know on the through the video comment box and if you make any mistake of spelling then the css may not load properly but be careful and for the first time users you put the html and css file in the same folder now i'm just going to remove it and save the file css file if you use notepad plus plus then it will be easy to follow my tutorial if you don't have notepad plus plus just search on the google and from this website you can download this text editor it will be so easy to follow with my tutorial and it's easy and free and now reload this page and you see nothing because i removed from here and now i'm going to write the css code body that means it will uh, what should i say affect whole body well if you miss all of my previous videos then i'm just going to remind you that this is the html element and this is the left curly brace and this is the right curly brace and inside we will write css rules first of all color and color as per usual uh, black in the upcoming videos we will use color code but as we are the beginners we are just using the color name i'm sorry there will be no hashtag just direct the color code background color i'm just going to use blue whatever now you can see the changes well but it's not looking good i'm just going to use a uh, light color just ed 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 reload it okay the main advantage of using external css is that you can easily link this css file to unlimited number of html pages just use this link code and you can link this css file to unlimited html pages 
then you will just write CSS rules here and it will affect all the HTML pages. Okay. Then font family. Font family will be Tahoma. Just control S. You will see the changes. Okay. Now I'm just going to show you how to target all of this. Just like the previous video, just write the HTML tag name. Uh, what's the HTML tag name? It's ASON. Okay. I'm just going to write ASON here. Sorry. ASON. Just write the HTML tag name. It will be the element ace on. Just write left curly brace, right, right curly brace, and go inside it. Put the cursor inside it and hit enter from your keyboard. It will be make some space. And now start writing your CSS properties and values. That means CSS rules. Okay. First of all, color. We are just uh, starting using the color name as I told you earlier color name will be orange you see now it's orange color you can also manage the font size font size font size what should I say 54 pixel whatever you want you can just target this list elements they are the list elements here goes the list elements you can target the list element I'm just going to show you now just write the UL tag because it's the UL element it's the UL element write the UL element name and left calibrus right calibrus Point the cursor in the middle, hit enter to make a space and write list style none. Okay. Well, the purpose, I'm just going to show you how to link or add this CSS file to another HTML file. Okay. As I said earlier, using external CSS method you can include this CSS file to many other unlimited numbers of HTML file okay I have some HTML files here goes the basic file and I'm just going to open it on Chrome browser here it is you see the header style is like that and my target is I will make it similar to this one using external CSS well uh, now I'm just going to link the external CSS file using this link uh, here I'm just going to paste it and save the file and you see the previous style now reload this page and it's almost the same okay two HTML files external.html and basic.html but both of them both of them using this external CSS okay in this way you can link this CSS file to unlimited number of HTML files okay both website has images images I'm just going to show you how to style images and I'll write code in this CSS file and it will affect this both CSS HTML files okay now I'm just going to style these images so it uses image tag IMG it uses uh, or should IMG tag okay then I'm just going to target IMG it will target all the images then left calibrus right calibrus and here I will just write border 
टेन पिक्सल सलिड कलर उल बी रेड आई रोड सी एस एस कोड इन ऑन फाइल एंड इट उल इफेक्ट द बोथ टू फाइल्स हियर यू सी एंड हियर यू सी दैट्स द मेजिक अब एक्सटार्नल सी एस एस ओके आई एम जस्ट गोयिंग टू रईट हाइट थ्री हंड्रेड टोवेंटी पिक्सल सेव द फाइल ओके यू सी ओके देर इज देंस जस्ट पैराग्राफ कलर हम जस्ट गोइंग टू टार्गेट पी फॉर पैराग्राफ हियर यू कैन सी द पी टैग हम जस्ट गोइंग टू टार्गेट इट and write color tomato you see the changes uh, reload this page and there's the changes friends i hope it was easy to follow up with this video and that was all about how to use external css and all about how to link css to html files if you face any problem you can let me know through the youtube video comment box and don't forget to like this video share with friends and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next videos